Um, so elbow, we're looking at avoiding hyperextension. So we need to make sure that there's a little bit of flexion there as well. Um, we're going to apply the anchors using club. Show me how big your guns are. Tense them up. Oh, I don't have any. Yeah, there you go. go on. So we want to do that when we pop the tape on, just to make sure that we're not putting it on fully relaxed, cold arm, and then later on she's going to go and do a sport of choice and get the blood in the muscle and feel restricted. You can do that with quads and calves as well with knee techniques. So there's the one anchor, Tiger Club. You can relax the arm there. Well, I'm very impressed. And then the other one, far enough below the elbow, probably about halfway down the forearm. Always go lower or further away from the joint than closer. Okay, turn it this way for me. So let's use the zinc oxide because that's doing the real job of keeping the elbow exactly where we want it. Want a bit more flexion there, so just slight bend. And if they're finding that uncomfortable, and it is a big ask to get them to keep it there sometimes, we can just rest it on a bolster or something. So bicep tendon, just flex the biceps again for me. Good, bicep tendon's just there. That's our point that we're gonna cover. That's where the little star would go, I was gonna stick one on. And we're gonna go medial, and cross that joint line onto lateral. And we do exactly like we did with the knee or the other joints. So medial, cross the bicep tendon, press it in, tear, and we're there. From the opposite side, palpate the bicep tendon as well so that you know roughly where you're going. And there's our little X. And that middle point is the one that we're going to cross over. It's all going to be covered over the EAB anyway, so it's doing its job. It doesn't need to look pretty as long as it's not uncomfortable. So slightly closer in this side. Slightly closer in that side, creates the basket weave. I'm not overly thrilled with this one, I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. I'm relying on that PAB tear to cover it all over at the end. And then one straight down the middle. Great. Before we get them to test it out, let's wrap it all up and make it look pretty. So just get the arm up slightly for me, I won't keep you there too long. I need to fix stuff because it's going to get the job done quicker. We're going to cover that elbow crease and we're leaving the olecanon process, the pointy part, free of tape. Again, just like the knee, make sure everything's covered. Create that X. I'm trying to cover that zinc oxide. We can probably go around again. I think we've got enough tape. Will it make it? I don't think so. But at least we haven't got any fitted bits of tape left to use up. Good. Make sure that it's all on properly. We've got no creases or bits sort of lifting over. Maybe you can try and extend there for me. Good, can you reach full extension? It pulls. Okay, I would say that's perfect then because they still want the function of the elbow. Uh, we don't want to fully restrict it. It depends how soon they are after the injury. If they've had a, a pure kind of hyperextension of the elbow, ligament damage, bone damage even, maybe you want a bit more support. So you may need to use a bit more flexion to start the technique. 